Hello BookTube, hello friends, welcome to Lizzie Faye Loves Books, I'm Elizabeth, and it has been a few days since I have filmed a video. I think with me it's either feast or famine. I have never been able to commit to a regular posting, uploading schedule, like I've never been able to tell you exactly what days I'm going to post or anything, because I just don't know, from week to week it can vary. And this week I would have filmed something earlier in the week, but I had two things holding me back. The main thing was on Monday, I had a tooth pulled. Now, I went into the dentist thinking I was going to just have a crown repaired, but when they got the crown off, it just wasn't worth saving, and in fact, when she tried to extract it, it broke, so it was, you know, after the initial part of the tooth broke off at the roots, there were three roots left to pull out, so it was like getting four teeth pulled. And my face has been swollen. It's probably still a little bit swollen. And my mouth has been cracked. And it's just been unpleasant. But I'm on antibiotics. And it seems to be healing fine. It, I'm just achy. Then the other thing is that I placed a book outlet order. I have not done a book outlet order in a couple of years. Maybe three years. It's been a while. And I placed one the other day. And I have been <laughs> just, just so, like anxious for it to come. And even yesterday, I got a notification that it was supposed to be, you know, it was expected to arrive yesterday. And that normally wouldn't hold me up, except that I want to do another series of book hauls. I did do a book haul sort of when I did my travel vlog. And in that hour long vlog, I showed the books that I bought. And, you know, I'm sure a lot of you don't have time to watch an hour long travel vlog. And so I want to incorporate those books into other book hauls with their genre, at least most of them. A couple of them probably aren't worth showing again, but uh, anyway, I want to start with the book outlet haul because that's a whole mix of things, and then incorporate those and the books I got on my trip into my other genre slash category hauls that I need to do. So everything kind of hinged on getting my book outlet order, which I still don't have. But today I am here, long story short, short story long, with an announcement because we are getting close to the end of April. And I want to tell you about a challenge that my friend Elizabeth Tyree and I have been doing for several years. And we thought we would kind of expand it a little bit this year and really work a little harder to try to get more of you involved. I know it's still kind of late in the month to be thinking about it because by now a lot of people are already starting to think about their May TBR. But this sort of goes hand in hand with middle grade May. Now there's not going to be an official middle grade May this year. We got the word from Acos. Her channel is Acos with K. Her videos are still up if you want to go and watch any of her videos. She was a very strong supporter of middle grade books and middle grade reading way back in the earlier days of YouTube, uh, she started, well, I mean, kind of, yeah, it, it was like six or seven or eight years ago, she started Middle Grade May before really very many people were talking about middle grade books on YouTube. And it now, though, because she hasn't really been able to have time to spend on YouTube with her family and work obligations and everything, uh, now, of course, you guys know that other people have taken the middle grade flag and uh, and have gotten a huge following with middle grade March. So now that, you know, so many people are reading middle grade for March, you know, it's a little too soon for everybody to jump back on another middle grade bandwagon for May. But Elizabeth and I have helped co-host middle grade May in the past, and because I started March Mystery Madness five years ago, six years ago now, uh, May has still been my big month to read middle grade because I can't focus on middle grade in March because of March Mystery Madness. So we started, uh, you know, I, I jumped in with a cost way back after when I first started my channel and doing middle grade May and have been doing that for a long time. So, okay, that's the preface. Now, <laughs> if you guys have been following me for a while, you know all that, but I'm just saying that for the benefit of those of you who might be new to my channel. So Elizabeth and I started uh, pretty early on with this challenge. We kind of challenged ourselves to read a book a day in May because I love catchy titles. And if you're reading middle grade books, it can be fairly simple to read a book a day. And so it just kind of went hand in hand. 
So we have decided, since there's not an official middle grade May this year, we still want to give an ode to that, and we still want to encourage you to read middle grade books, and we want to invite you to join our challenge to read a book a day in May. Now, that may be a bit much for a lot of you, so we have expanded the challenges to not only include reading a book a day, but we've got some other choices where you could participate with hashtag book a day in May without actually reading a book a day in May. So here they are. You can, like I said, of course, read a book a day in May and it can be anything. It doesn't have to be middle grade books, but if you are going to read some middle grade books, use both hashtags. Use hashtag middle grade May and book a day in May. And any anytime you post about anything, you know, related to middle grade books in the month of May, use both of those hashtags. It'll be awesome. Now, you don't have to read just middle grade books to be in this challenge. You could read short stories. You could read a children's storybook. Like I was thinking kind of a fun project would be to read a Dr. Seuss book every day in May. That would be fun. I was just looking it up and he's got way more than 30 books. And I don't know if we own 30 of them, but I'm thinking of going to the library and maybe that's a fun project I can do with my daughter, Emily, and read a Dr. Seuss book every day in May. And in addition, you know, to the other books that I'm reading. But for my own personal TBR, I'm going to mix it up. I have some middle grade books I want to read. The Sunshine State list is going to be announced like any day now. And so I want to pick up as many of those as I can. I was just sorting through my middle grade shelf in my home library and just kind of looking through that. I may do some random draws just to see what I want to read from there. I also want to read some Newberry winners in May, things like that. So I definitely have some middle grade books that I want to read. And I have some other auto, um, audio books that are not middle grade that I want to read. I've got my own, my goals and whatnot that will all be incorporated into reading a book a day. Now, for those of you who don't want to read a book a day, you don't want to read children's books, you want to keep reading what you're reading, here's some other ideas. So you could, um, I want to make sure I, I made some notes, so I'll make sure I don't forget anything. So like I said, though, if you want to read a book a day, it can be any kind of book. It can be a graphic novel. It can be a full-length novel, you know, whatever you want to do. And you don't have to finish one every day. Just by the end of the month, if your goal is to read at least 31 books or finish at least 31 books by the end of the month, then that's a book a day in May. That counts. Okay, so you could do a book review a day for book a day in May. You could just type it up on Goodreads. You could uh, do it on Amazon. You could do a video review. You could do like a 30 second book review. 30 seconds is pretty hard, but a 60 second book review. I have done a couple of those and they are really fun because you don't have to stress too much about having a lot to say. You can just summarize it. It's hard to do though, but you can and it doesn't take very long to film unless you film it over and over and over to get it right. But you know, that being said, just have fun with it. You could do a book review a day on any platform, and that's a book a day in May. You could do it on Instagram, or you could just post a book a day. Maybe it. Maybe you think, okay, I'm going to post my um, favorite, my 31 most favorite books, and post one every day on Instagram, and use the hashtag book a day in May. Or it could be, uh, I don't know, maybe 31 books on your TBR, the longest books on your TBR, or whatever you want to do, and post one every day. Or you could post the book that you're reading or finishing every day. Or you could even, you know, summarize and do four posts in the month and each, uh, on each of your four posts, you know, do a, a different photo, like seven different photos for whatever books or put them all in a big stack and, you know, say, this is what I read this week. It, you know, the sky is open to what you would want to do and you could still participate in a book a day in May or just hashtag book a day in May. Okay, so I think that is all the ideas I had. You may come up with other ideas that you think would be good. Um, and, you know, the sky's the limit, whatever you want to do. And, uh, you know, if you do read some middle grade books, go ahead and use the hashtag middle grade May. It's just fun and uh, it will just kind of give an ode to, you know, the, the days of middle grade May, which, you know, I, I'm still doing, even though it's not official. And uh, so, you know, if the rest of you would like to continue that, then we'll just unofficially continue to do that. Now, my co-host, did I even say 
Oh my goodness. My co-host is Elizabeth Tyree. I think I did say at the beginning of the video. So she's also posting a video today. Go and check out her video. She just had a medical procedure this week. And so she was home from work and was able to film. Bless her heart. I'm, I'm, thank you, Elizabeth, for doing this with me despite all of the things. And um, I just hope that you will check out her channel. Please go and subscribe. She needs some more subscribers. She has been doing BookTube for quite a while. She is a really fun middle school teacher. She reads a lot of middle grade books, and uh, she's got two sweet little girls. In fact, I got to meet her in person and showed a short clip of them in my travel vlog that I posted um, last week or whenever. It was the trip I took in early April when I went to the Texas Panhandle. So anyway, uh, I've got a lot of videos coming up. Hopefully, my book outlet order will come today, and I'll be able to do that. And the BookTube spin <laughs> number two was just announced yesterday, and I've got to get my list of 20 books together for that, and I need to finish reading the one that I was supposed to have read by the end of March, but I made a conscious decision not to uh, not to read it in March or February because of all the readathons, and I am going to, uh, I have a goal to finish it by the end of this month so that I can move on then to the next BookTube spin book, but meanwhile, i got to figure out what's going on, on my list. So that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more book haul videos and my booktube spin list. And um, it's the end of the month soon. So I'll be having an April wrap up, a wrap up for Amish in April. I have not done an Amish in April wrap up yet because I'm still reading Amish books. I just finished another one yesterday. And so I want to tell you all about those. I'm hoping still to have another author, uh, to have an author interview for Amish in April. I just finished reading the debut novel of an author of Amish fiction, and I loved it. It was fantastic. So I'm hoping that we'll be able to fit that video in before the end of the month. So I've got a lot coming up. Like I said, feast or famine. You haven't seen a video from me in over a week, and now I'm probably going to have one every day till the end of the month. So that's all for this one, though. I hope that you are having a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Read a good book, and God bless you.